hi guys welcome back to my channel um <laughs> welcome to my dfl series welcome to today's conversation and we're going to talk about about <laughs> start from a place of rest yeah <laughs> and without further ado let's go straight to the video <laughs> um hmm. so guys let me tell you <laughs> i know we are in a rush to catch up with life to like uh what is it chase the bug you know chase the bug make things right you did yara all those fancy fancy things and important things but i know like i mentioned this in one of my vlogs but i'm going to emphasize it here we need to start from a place of rest in the sense of like you know i had made it my business by the way i have fallen like off yeah i've fallen off the the routine but i had made it my business to wake up at least 30 minutes earlier at least 30 minutes earlier so that i can have rest like i've prepared myself i've done everything like prepare myself mentally and psychologically and it really does magic because it sets you up for the day like it's amazing because I, I what i used to do was like um like just rest like be in that rest uh, mode and also like read the bible and pray and it was amazing and maybe take a drink or something because i used to make dawa nowadays i don't i i make the ginger shots like dawa dawa, dawa in shots ni concussion it's concussion like the um, ginger honey and uh, lemon so yeah take the take the dawa and then relax and it was really nice because it will set the mood for my day and i want to go back there and to my future self please start from a place of rest it it sets you up for a good day you have meditated about it not really i'm not saying it's not a must for you to meditate but at least you start from a place of rest the other the because there's there's like two meanings to this statement the other thing is like start from a place of rest in the sense of like god has already done it for you i don't know i don't know whether i'm making sense to you guys like god has already done it for you so start from a place of rest do not be anxious you know the bible says do not be anxious about anything but in everything do not be anxious about anything but in everything with prayers and supplication give your take your prayers to the lord i'll put the verse here like do not be anxious do not worry about things you just start from a place of rest in the sense of start from a place of victory the because this 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 uh, whole topic is derived from a someone that i listened to like uh one month ago or two and the preacher was just saying like we shouldn't live for victory but live from a place of victory in the sense of if you live for victory it's like you live to see like you live for it you get but we need to live from a place of victory like you live from a place where i have the victory already victory is already given to me i just have like to live from from it like there's this time like just a few days ago i just told myself because it was like i'm doing like a self um self-discovery challenge 21 days of self-discovery challenge and the question for like that day was like what will you tell your your younger self and i remember noting down and telling myself that god loves me already 
and he's working it he has already worked it out for me like everything that god does it is for my own good like i need to know that i need to know that that as much as probably i might be in a season where it's so hurtful it's so like i can't take it it's so heartbreaking but i need to remember that i'm living from a place of victory that god is doing it for me like he's positioning me yeah i might feel uncomfortable right now but he's positioning me to be to be in a good space and i'm not saying good i'm saying the best space to be just honest like he's placing everything into place just for me so i just need to live from a place that he has done it for me like this is the place like i i I feel like I'm preaching but this is the place like I am there already. And the simplest example that the example that that preacher gave was was like you see every time you want to sit down every time and I'm saying every goddamn time even when you go to visit strangers when you go to seminars when you go to conferences when you go to church when you go to a stranger's house when you go to your own home you never never look at the chair whether it's broken you don't doubt that the chair will not hold you you don't have doubts in your mind that this chair cannot be capable of holding me but you see it anyway you don't look whether the chair is broken unless it has like unless you can see it's broken but sometimes you never know it's just it might be just broken but we don't live at any single point for a place like you live like uh i visited my friend i need to check if the chair is working and if it can hold me you just live from a place of victory like Of course I'm going to sit down and this chair will hold me. So that exact faith I want it I want you to apply it in your life. Like I like I'm sitting down. I didn't check this seat. I had faith. Like I lived I lived from a place of rest. Like in my heart I was peaceful that this chair will hold me that I will not fall that is the same way you need to live your daily life and if you are a christian you live to live from a place where victory has already been given to me like Jesus died on the cross because of me so that is why I want to sit on this chair and I know it's going to hold me that is why I want to live this life knowing that God has a plan for me. A plan Ah, huh? what does it say? God um Jeremiah 29:11. It says that ah, for I know the plans I have for you, plans of prosperity. Listen to this word. Plans of prosperity and not of failure to give you a future and a hope. Plans of prosperity it has already been given to you so worry not bless your soul i hope you have learned something <laughs> that is all for today live from a place live from a place of victory and live from a place of rest Bye. Uh.